Check out this badger. It's an actually a British dragonfly. Look at the markings on him. Crazy. Unfortunately, this little one has passed away. I found him when I come back off holiday, just kind of laying on the floor. And I've no idea how he got into my house. But obviously, he couldn't get back out again. Shame, really. These are so beautiful. Look at the detail. I'll show you up close a bit more in a, in a minute, but I don't know if these kind of bugs freak you out or, I mean, if it was flying around me, then yeah, it probably would freak me out a little bit. Let's have a closer look at him. So there we go, a bit more detail of this dragonfly. And just look at the, uh, the detail and the wings. And it's just crazy. Really, really crazy. And, and the colors. I said I've seen some really cool colours um, of these, like reds and, and blues. The blue one looks really nice, kind of like a light blue. Um, and as I say, there's various names for these, uh, like Hairy Dragonfly, <laughs> Azora Hawker, Common Hawker, Southern Hawker, Brown Hawker, there's loads, loads of different names, there's so many. But I just thought to myself, you know, it would be a shame really to just kind of let this uh, just waste away. And I thought maybe we can preserve him in resin. Yeah, it's a him. There's so many different names for these and there's so many different ones, different colors like reds and oranges and yellows, blues. This one obviously has got a green uh, on his back uh, with lots of black kind of stripes and stuff. But they're so beautiful and they kind of, I see them uh, every now and again sort of flying around my pond. They're kind of attracted to the pond area um, and they like that. And uh, they're really beautiful to watch flying around. And I was quite sad and really to see him on the floor. Um, I thought he was going to be all right, but unfortunately not. So I don't know really whether or not this, whether or not we can actually capture him in resin so that he keeps his kind of color. And I've seen these before where they, you know, after a couple of days, they just go black. So whether or not the resin will, will preserve him, I don't know. I'm hoping it will. There's only one way to find out, right? Right, so I'm gonna put some of this resin in first before I lay in our little dragonfly. Um, just so that I can get this to sort of set and cure off a little bit. I'm not too sure whether or not he will sink to the bottom or not, he might do. But um, I will kind of obviously want to put him in the middle-ish. So, um, but I'm not sure whether or not we put a bit of, um, like a bit of white in here as well, just have a bit of a feature around him. I don't know, I might do. Um, because what I have got is I've got these little syringes which might work quite nicely. Let's see if we can put a little bit of white in there. Just a little bit, nothing too major, but just a tiny bit of white and see if we can extract. So I've got this white aluminite dye. I'm just wondering, I don't want to obviously, I can't overdo it. But let's see if we can. There we go, I've got a little bit. Just got a little bit in there. So I'm going to just try and push a little bit in here. Nothing major, but just a little bit. I'll put a little bit, there we go. It's a tiny bit in there. Let me show you. Now, can you see that in there? Yeah, so there's just a little bit of white in there. Just might create like a little bit of a feature around him. Maybe, I don't know, I've no idea. And a little bit gone to the bottom there as well. We'll see. Right, we're gonna give that about 10, maybe 20 minutes just to kind of cure a little bit. And then we'll come back. We're gonna put Steve, which is what I've named him. Steve, 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 Steve the dragonfly into the resin and then we'll put a bit more resin on top and then we'll leave him overnight to set. Oh no that's not Steve, that is Alan. Alan! Alan! Al! Alan! Latigra.
Right, it's been left for a little while. Um, it's still not where I want it to be, but I'm going to try and uh, lay our friend down in there. I think it should float really. It's quite, it's quite light. So. Oh, it's quite fragile as well. Um, let's see, here we go. Here we go. I think he should just sit there and then what we do is we let that set a little bit more and then we pour some more resin on top of him. Right, so in goes the second layer of resin but I can see just before I put that in that he's lost all of his colour. I think the resin it's kind of like, I don't know what it's done to him, but he's, he's lost his green colour. He's gone all black now. I mean, it still looked quite cool in there, I think, but it's a bit of a shame, really, that he's lost his colour. Can't really tell at the moment whether all these bubbles in it, but once it cures, you'll be able to see. But uh, there we go. Um, what we're going to do now, then, is uh, get this in the pressure pot and uh, leave this to set overnight, and then we'll put it on the lathe and see if we can turn something cool out of it. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh. What's happened to this? Oh dear. It's got a big, what's that? That hasn't turned out very good. So it's got a big crack in it. And I've no idea what has happened to this, but that has not turned out. And look at the state of the dragonfly. It seems to have, Oh my god, look. It's actually blown out. It's actually blown out the bottom of this of this plastic container. It's actually got a big hole in it. What? Whatever's happened, uh, it obviously hasn't turned out <laughs> the way that I kind of planned it. Um, look at the size of that crack in there that's just split all the way down i wonder if the dragonflies had some kind of reaction you know what i mean the resin has had some kind of reaction to the dragonfly because obviously it's gone all black as well which obviously happened when we set it in resin and it seems to have well, i don't know i don't know what's happened to that <laughs> Oh well, um, well there goes that project. <laughs> Question is, do I put it up or not now? Or do I show you this failure? I think it's good to show you actually, to be fair, even though we're not going to be able to do much else with this. Mm, what a bummer. Well, I don't know what to say really. I've tried to get it out of this container as well and it just obliterated on me. Um, so we've got half of Dragonfly <laughs> half of Dragonfly in there and the other half in there. I have no idea how this has happened. I've never had this situation before. I had a, it, it set with a huge crack in it as, I, as you saw. The Dragonfly has gone a little bit funny in there. 
I wasn't going to show this. I mean, obviously the idea around this project was going to be, this was going to come out, you know, really nice with the green dragonfly in there. A bit of cloudy mist kind of going around in the, in the resin. I was going to turn it into a nice sphere and kind of make a nice base for it and have it like a, as an ornamental piece. Um, and hopefully save old Mr. Dragonfly here. But that hasn't worked out. And I kind of thought to myself, you know what? I'm still going to show you this because I think it's also important that you guys know, especially the ones and the people that want to get into making things, um, you know, or maybe making YouTube videos, that, you know, things don't always turn out <laughs> the way you kind of want them to. You know, and it, I think it's just important to, to let you know that it's not all sunshine and roses. Although we all like a bit of sunshine and a nice rose. So there is our dragonfly project. Sorry. For those of you that uh, are disappointed to not see the end result of that, I am as well. Um, but um, I thought, again, you know, it was just good to show you, really, I suppose. I don't know, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> um, I'll leave... <laughs> Will I leave pictures up at the end? Mm, maybe! <laughs> uh, if I can get a decent picture up. But I, I've got some really good pictures of the actual dragonfly you know, before we cast it in resin, so I'll show you, you know, maybe what it could have been. Your fly flies again. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, wasn't a lot of it. Um, and again, I will try this project again. Um, maybe with a dragonfly, if I do come across another one that's passed. Um, maybe something else, I don't know. I, I think it was a dragonfly. What do you think? Something had some kind of reaction in there. I'm a bit baffled by the whole situation. Anyway, on to the next project. <laughs> Thanks to all the new subscribers that have come over to the channel recently. I really do hope you stick around. This isn't a typical project <laughs> um, that you'll see. Uh, hopefully I'll get a completed one up for you next week. If not next week, the week after. But stick with me, because I've got some funkiness coming your way. Have a fab weekend, take care, and I'll see you all soon.